Romeo Giulietta. Even the name is pretty. And as for the car itself, well, just look at it. It's gorgeous. Now call that a subjective opinion if you like, but I haven't found many who would disagree or at least have their heads turned by the Giulietta. With a face so handsome, they had to offset the number plate to accommodate those striking features. I won't wait till the end of this review to tell you that I really love this car. And that's mainly down to three things. It looks good, it's interesting, and it's fun to drive. Now those are the things that I can prioritize right now, being relatively responsibility free for the time being. But obviously there are people out there who need a bit more than that from their car. So we're also gonna have a look at the practical stuff, like how would it fare as a family car, for example? And the answer is reasonably well. The boot falls somewhere between the class leaders at 350 litres, which is smaller than the Volkswagen Golf and Opel Astra, but larger than the Ford Focus. Space in the back. Well, bonus points first of all for the slick hidden door handles that disguise the fact that you're driving a five door at all. And when you get in then, again, it's reasonable. It's not what you'd call spacious back here. The sloping roof line does impact on headroom, but it'd be fine for kids. And there are Isofix anchors for child seats. It also got the full five stars on the end cap safety tests. Back in the front, it feels a bit more comfortable. You do sit really low down, which gives it a nice sporty feel. But if you don't like that, you can adjust it in many different ways via the seat and the steering wheel. Storage in the cabin is not great. There's nowhere convenient along the center console to put your phone. The door bins are really narrow, just about wide enough to squeeze a can of energy drink into, and the glove box is tiny. It does pass our mug test though, so that's something. As a redeeming and slightly more important feature, it's very well specced. And standard kit includes alloy wheels, LEDs, sport seats, aircon, and a five inch color touchscreen display with Uconnect. Now that will allow you to do all the usual smartphone connectivity, to take calls and stream music, and even social media feeds. Mid-spec super trim adds parking sensors, cruise control, dual zone aircon and some upgraded styling, which is basically more chrome and nicer wheels. Then you've got a choice of two upgrades from Super. There's this Super Sport, which adds sporty stuff like 17 inch wheels. This Alcantara upholstery with the red stitching, got the flat bottom steering wheel, tinted windows and a stiffer suspension. Or you can go for Super Lux, which will add luxurious stuff like leather upholstery, a larger touchscreen display and electric lumbar support. Personally, I go for this one. This is the very gutsy two liter turbocharged diesel with 150 HP, which is pretty much top of the range, although there is a more powerful 175 brake version available, as well as a more modest 1.6 and a 1.4 liter petrol option. All Giuliettas come with what's called a DNA switch, which will allow you to choose between three different driving modes. There's dynamic, which will weight up the steering and change the feeling of the throttle, N for natural, which is pretty self-explanatory, and then A for all weather, which is designed to cope with trickier conditions. Dynamic mode is obviously the most fun. You get this nice little rush of power and it does have a really sporty feel, especially combined with that low down driving position and the low down power and torque of the car. It's got a lovely growly engine note. It's a brilliant road holder and it's just one of those cars that makes you want to drive it. The dynamic mode does seem to be a bit heavier on juice though, so if you want to get anywhere near the claimed fuel economy of 5 litres per 100 kilometres, you're probably best off saving it for a particularly nice stretch of road. The price ranges from about €23,000 for the entry level, right up to about €31,000 for this top spec model. So it is on the pricier end of the spectrum. But what you get for that is something fun and truly different. And in a sea of golfs and focuses, why not be a Giulietta driver? Make up your own mind and see it for yourself at your local Alpha dealer, details of which you'll find on carsireland.ie.